Hey everybody, it's Tanya Atomic. Today I'm trying out Natasha Denona for the very first time. I'm trying out the Bloom Blush and Glow palette and the Cranberry uh, Mini Eyeshadow palette. So I am trying the, these both out for the first time, and I'm trying Natasha Denona out for the very first time. I got both of these in um, subscription boxes recently, so I decided to try them out together. Um, I'm going to show you what I did, but first let me get to some swatches. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch this one. And um, I don't know how the color names go, but the color names go um, Daisy, Sakura, Botanic, Blossom, and Nude. So I think, huh, I think that this is Daisy, Sakura, this is obviously Botanic, Blossom, and then Nude, I think. So there they are, there they are, they are highly pigmented, um, really creamy, and the color scheme is just super pretty. In this palette here, um, this palette, I do have to say, I, I haven't used it before, I've only stored it for a while, and the cover's already getting a few scratches on here just from storage. So that's a little unfortunate, but it is a very pretty packaging where you've got like the pla shiny plastic on top and the logo underneath with the with the and you can feel the the letters are embossed here and it's really thick and sturdy. And then inside you've got a mirror and um, you've got your creams which come covered, which I appreciate that because it helps them to um, helps them to not get powder on them and then um, you got your powders here so that you got your blush your glow these are both creams and then you've got your duo glow and your glow extreme so let's go ahead and try these out they're very very creamy feeling so you got your Maybe, I'll, maybe I can do them here. You got your blush. Whoa, okay. <laughs> so you got your blush, um, your glow base, which is very subtle. Um, there's a little bit of shine at Slightly Peach, but super subtle. Then you've got the um, Duo Glow and the Glow Extreme right here. So that's everything swatched. Let me show you what I did to do this. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my eyes. I'm gonna start with the palette, eyeshadow palette. And I'm gonna start with this color here, which is um, Sakura, I believe, right there. Uh, it's a little bit powdery. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little bit of kick up. I mean, not a big deal, but just want to show you everything. And I'm going to start it in my crease. On the outer edge. Um, I prime my eyes with Pretty Vulgar Eye Primer. And sometimes I start with um, the transition shade or lightest shade in my crease and move um, out that way and do the darker shade on top. And sometimes I start this way with the darker shade. Now the Pretty Vulgar Eye Primer is a little bit grippy and I didn't set it today. So 
So since this is a dark shade, I'm starting with a little bit and adding. Doing it with this fluffy brush here. So I just went ahead and did my other eye off camera. Um, I'm going to go into Blossom here. That one's a bit, a little bit powdery too, but not too bad. And I'm going to go in my crease. A little bit above. And a little, I'm just going to go ahead and go in to the front area as well. Now these are, um, Pretty bright colors, highly pigmented. Now these two colors blended really well. I'm gonna take a clean brush and go over the edges so that it's softer and not as harsh. Now I think the shadows blended really well and blended really well with each other, but I'm seeing little spots where the shadow wasn't happy with the primer that I used. And I've had this problem with this primer, the Pretty Vulgar primer, with other shadows um, that were sort of uh, creamier, softer, butterier. Um, it doesn't play well with those kind of shadows. so. Unfortunately, um, I'm getting a little bit of, you know, spots where it just doesn't want to play well, like here and here um, with the primer. But um, other than that, I think it looks pretty good. And I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to go ahead and go into this color here, this botanic, and put that on the lid. I'm just going to use my finger. So yeah, unfortunately, I think that that's a primer I'm not going to be able to use to test with anymore because it just doesn't like to play well with, with creamier shadows or certain shadows. I'm guessing it's creamier shadows um, because that's been my experience, but I'm not 100% sure. But I've noticed that some primers do better with certain shadows. And then I'm going to go ahead and go into Nude. And let's just see the other way around. Seems like maybe this is Nude and this is Daisy. Okay, now I'm confused. Anyway, I'm going to go into this color, which I think is Nude, but it could be Daisy. What do you guys, do you guys know? Let me know. I'm going to sort of blend these together. So these shadows are very creamy. And then this last color, which could be nude or could be daisy, but I think it's probably nude. I'm very confused. Let's just say it's Daisy. <clears throat> um, it's the lightest shimmer, I believe, but it, even though it is a gold, goldy bronze, I'm still going to try to do an inner corner with that. It's pretty sparkly, even though it's a darker color. I think it works. I think it does work. Um, you know, I do have hooded eyes, so I get transfer because part of my lid hang, you know, hangs on the other. So if I close my eyes, I get transfer um, of the shimmer, but that's just how it's going to be. But I think it looks pretty good. Um, let me go ahead and finish up my eyes and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I just did a little bit of black liner and black mascara. I didn't want to take away from any of the glowiness of the eyes. Um... 
Yeah, everything, I think the shadows, anyone's used Natasha Denona probably knows how high quality the shadows are, um, but they are easily blendable without blending away or losing any pigment. They're just um, really pretty, really high quality and fun to use, really, really nice. Um, so I liked that. I'm going to move on to the to cheek palette here. Um, and it looks like, you, it looks like um, I can, I'm just going to try to do the blush and then build everything up. So <clears throat> the cream blush, I'm just going to go ahead and use this um, rose brush from Wet n Wild. And I'm just going to go in and get some on the brush. And then what I'm going to do is, is tap it on my hand to make sure that I didn't get too much. And then kind of go here. Okay, that's not that's not bad and I go here you know to lift up my face I don't have um, you know pr pronounced cheekbones my face is just kind of flat so um, I usually go right up here and then I'm gonna build it a little bit That looks pretty good. I hope you can see it. I'm going to build up a little stronger because sometimes the camera doesn't pick it up as strong as the naked eye. And to show that you can build it. So that looks pretty good. Just going to blend it out a little. Okay, I'm trying on the other side. Blending it out a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and go in with the uh, Glow Cream Base. Okay, and that is actually very light. Um, so I will just go right in. And I just, with the glowiness, I just go a little bit above and a little bit on the top where I place the blush. I'm not seeing a lot. It's a little bit of a peachiness. Just the faintest bit of a glow. I'm gonna go in a little bit harder here. Oh, okay, I'm seeing it there, I'm seeing it there. So this is very subtle. I don't know if you can even see it. Um, it's very subtle, it's peachy. There's a sheen, there's a light sheen. It's not too intense at all. Um, for like a soft day or for a softer makeup look, I can see, um, I can see this being really nice, but I'm going to go ahead and try to glow it up. So I'm going to go into the duo glow portion now, and that is a powder. Let's see what that does. Okay, and that's like a goldy peachy, definitely a goldy peachy glow there. That is really a pretty color. Now, I, I don't know what this would be like on a super fair. I'm fairly fair, and this looks pretty good. Um, it has, like, a peachy, goldy glow to it. Um, but it looks good on my skin tone. Are you? I hope you're getting that. I hope you're getting that, because it's really, really peachy and really glowy. Um, but I'm going to do the glow extreme on top, because I'm just going to go for it. And let's see what that does. That is way more extreme. So you're pro I'm sure you're seeing this. So this is when you really want to bling out. So 
So I am sure you're seeing this here now. <laughs> so basically I feel like what you can do is you can build with each of these and you can use the different ones for different um, looks. You know, you can go with your softer look, you can go with your, um, you know, peachy, shiny, and if you really want to go for it, go for this. Um, which is interesting. It's like levels of highlight. Um, but you can, you can do it. You can build the levels of highlight with this, which um, is interesting. But it does, I think it looks good. I think it's pretty. Um, I just think it's funny to have three different variant levels of highlight. Um, so what do I think overall? I really, I like these a lot. Uh, I think for a certain kind of like, you know, plummy, peachy, cranberry-y look, um, they, they work. Um, they work together because you've got the sort of orangish and the reddish um, colors, the color schemes. So um, I, as far as the quality, there's no question. It's really good quality. Um, the, sh the shades are soft, easily blendable. They don't um, bunch up and they don't wear away. Um, so yeah, I mean, I am I like these. I'm glad I have them. I'm definitely gonna use them. And I think they're really good. Are you a big fan of Natasha Denona? Let me know in the comments below and let me know what are your some of your favorite products. Anyway, that is it for today's video. Thanks for watching.